Tuesday, February 22nd. I'm Natalie Morris and it's time to get loaded. Windows Phone 7 is going to get a software update, the first since the phone launched in October. The update looked to be a general functional improvement, but Microsoft says that it paves the way for other goodies like cut and paste and improved marketplace search. The update comes out in early March. There were a lot of Apple rumors coming down the pipeline over the three-day weekend. The first has to do with the iPad. Of course, experts are claiming that the launch of iPad 2 is delayed until June. Also, two separate patent filings show that the next version may have a smart bezel allowing you to perform functions along the peripheral like you can with the BlackBerry Playbook. The next rumor has to do with the new high-speed connection feature in the MacBook Pros. The new Pro line of Apple MacBook is due for an update any day now, and it may have something like Intel's Light Peak technology which uses copper insides to replace all the wireless wires inside of your machine. And finally, rumors are that Apple is working on a television product other than Apple TV. This is based on a job listing at Apple, so not a lot to go on here. Toyota will start selling electric car chargers in 2012. The company announced that it will put these charging devices on the market next year for owners of plug-in hybrid cars to gas up overnight. The chargers will be compatible with non-Toyota cars too. There will be two models, one to be kept on the exterior of your house and another that's made for garage setup. Movie pirates have a new enemy, former Democratic Senator Chris Dodd of Connecticut. He is reportedly about to become the new chairman of the Motion Picture Association of America. The MPAA is obviously laser-focused on stopping film piracy at whatever cost. In fact, as a senator, Dodd was supportive of a bill that gave retroactive immunity to telecoms that engaged in wiretapping. Twitter shut down Uber, Twitter, and TwitDroid for Android, claiming that both Twitter apps violated the company's API policy. The internet was pretty outraged by this because third-party clients are largely responsible for boosting Twitter to its popularity, but now Twitter doesn't seem to want to share its population. So they are cannibalizing the clients that made them, which you might think stinks, but it is their right, it's their product after all. German researchers demonstrated a car that was driven by someone's brain activity. The car is called the Brain Driver. It runs by software that interprets neural signals of the driver. It isn't actually road friendly, but it is just a concept that could help people with disabilities get around and certainly would put a new spin on drunk driving. And finally, a man in Egypt named his baby daughter Facebook. In his defense, he did this because he was so grateful for the service that Facebook provided in helping to facilitate the Egyptian overthrow of President Hosni Mubarak. The name is an homage to the communication tool. I just hope people don't take it too literally and try to poke her. That's your news of the day. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember CNET.com slash loaded for links to all our stories. I'm Natalie Morris for CNET, and you've just been loaded.